For the past couple of months, me and my fellow camera nerd friend Trevor have been testing out this lens right here. This is the Holga HL lens, also known as one of the cheapest lenses on Amazon, coming in at a grand total of $10 to $16, depending on which model you buy. There are models for both Nikon and Canon, and we both bought the correct version for our respective cameras. As you would expect for this price range, this lens objectively sucks. There's no way around it, and most of this video won't be so much a review as me just roasting the absolute sh** out of it. Honestly, at this point, I'm just surprised that the lens even takes pictures. As you might expect, this lens is made entirely of plastic. I'm not even sure that the glass element in here is real glass. The lens attaches right to your camera, as it should, but it's tiny. There is a focus wheel which spins, um, so it has that going for it, I guess. But like I said, it's really small, so in addition to taking bad photos, this lens won't even look impressive on your camera, which we all know is the only reason to buy a new lens, obviously. Something else to know is that this lens is borderline unusable inside. There's no adjustable aperture on this lens, just a tiny little pinhole, which means that almost no light can get in. So to get anything out of this lens in poor lighting means that I have to jack the ISO all the way up to the max, which makes the image quality too grainy anyway. Outside, the results are a little bit better, still terrible of course, but at least I can turn down the ISO. If it wasn't obvious though, the image quality sucks no matter what. It's really soft, fuzzy, dark around the edges, and there is an excessive amount of chromatic aberration, but that's cool because I like chromatic aberration, and now I can just do the effect entirely in camera without having to do it in post. There's also no image stabilization in this lens, so as you might have noticed already, all of my footage is incredibly shaky. And even if you think you have a steady hand, I guarantee you, you're gonna get shaky footage as well. Now, as fun as it's been to just absolutely trash this lens, it is worth mentioning that if you put this lens on a higher end camera, say a cinema camera, the ISO becomes less of a problem. The shakiness and chromatic aberration are still there, but in this case, it actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's like a nostalgic look almost. It's just genuinely terrible, but it, look, it looks nice in a way, you know? That's fair. You can make good content using crappy equipment if you have a good vision. So. Would you recommend that someone spends 13 to $16 on this lens? Yeah, I would recommend it. You can definitely get usable videos and photos out of it, and they look more genuine than a filter can look. I would never in a million years use this on a professional shoot, ever. However, for personal projects, and if you can afford to shoot it again, if it turns out really, really crappy, I would recommend it. It's it's a unique look. It, I, like, I like the way it, it kind of comes out, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. If you want a cheap, plasticky lens that produces garbage results on anything less than the best cameras, the Holga lens is perfect for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. You can check out the rest of my channel for more gear reviews, editing tutorials, and short films. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.